Y'all ain't ready for this one. give it a thumbs up let's do a goal for this video 500 likes click the thumbs up let's get over 500 bro uh, it's an insane nintendo direct leak is on the interwebs bro if just half of this stuff i'm about to tell y'all is true this would be the best nintendo direct this would be on some E3 direct stuff, bro. <coughs> Y'all ready? All right. First, <laughs> it's saying anonymous. And this dude, this person got fired from Nintendo and has leaked this information. The direct is on November 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, believable. Last year, Nintendo had a direct. In uh, November, it was focused on Smash, but this one isn't. Now, it is going to start off with Smash. Terry Bogard, excuse me, releases with the Direct. That's that. That's what they did last year. They had a Direct on the character, and he released that same day. Uh, with the last one, with Banjo, when they announced Banjo, went into detail, he released the same day. This makes sense. Terry Bogard, am I hyped for him? Not really, but I'm always curious for a new fighter in Smash. Maybe, just maybe, he could be my main. One day I'm going to get a main and wreck everybody in Smash. And so, Terry Bogard releases with the Direct November 6th. And then, this is when the Direct starts to get interesting. Fighter Pack number 5 is announced. And the fifth fighter is Doom Slayer from Doom. <coughs> At first, I was like, I don't know. But the more I thought about it, the more I said to myself, I'm here for this. I'm here for that. He would be a great addition to the lineup. Why? He's different. One of the things that bummed me out about um, Hero coming to Smash, <coughs> he was just like another fire um, fighter, Sword and Shield. This is another a unique fighter. He would probably have a completely different play style than most. And so, Doom Slayer, I would like, I would be hyped for a Doom Slayer Smash announcement. And also, the trailer's tied into Kid Icarus eternal and original outfit alts and so we'll get some more skins kid icarus skins but speaking of kid icarus kid icarus uprising 2 for the switch will be announced coming in 2020 bro kid icarus so good on the 3ds the flying stages the plat the ground when he was on the ground those stages had a little bit <coughs> to be desired um, for but the flying stages in Kid Icarus is what Star Fox used to be bro the, how good Star Fox used to be bro and one of the reasons why the ground stages wasn't that good in Kid Rick Icarus Uprising the 3DS at the time didn't have a right analog stick you had to it was it was Nintendo had to sell you a stand to play that game. That's how bad it was, bro. You had to use the stylus. It just wasn't good. But with the Switch, we have a right stick. We have two joysticks. It would play perfect. Imagine it with um, the graphics um, scaled and optimized for the Switch. Kid Icarus Uprising 2 would be lit, bro. Bro. The... Um, chat scenes, the cut scenes in Kid Icarus, some of the best written scenes ever in a video game. I truly was laughing, bro, <laughs> reading um, the interactions between 
uh, Pitt and Palatina. Kid Icarus Uprising 2 coming 2020. And then we get a new Breath of the Wild 2 trailer releases holiday 2020. This makes sense. I told y'all. Nintendo doesn't need to, in my opinion, launch a Switch in 2020 to compete with a new, a powerful Switch in 2020 to compete with the PlayStation 5, Xbox Scarlet <coughs> software, bro. Launch Breath of the Wild. It'll still, the Switch will still selling gang buck busters. But that's what I want. That's not what this leaker is saying. According to this leaker, the Nintendo Switch Pro will be announced coming holiday 2020 and runs most games in 1080p 60 frames per second. And so a true <coughs> graphical bump for the current Switch. And I sort of go back and forth. Should we just get a true home console? Should we just get a portable? I like the portability of the Switch, especially with the newborn baby. I appreciate being able to play my games anywhere. And so they're saying if it's um, this, it seems like it's going to be still a hybrid console. I personally think that's the route Nintendo could go, would, should go to sell the most consoles. Portability would sell more than just a traditional home console, even though I'm for a 4K super duper powerful nintendo home console i'm in but the switch pro late 2020 runs games in 1080p 60 that is all i need bro all i need bro for especially my third party games to not be at 30 but be at 60 even though overwatch at 30 bro is surprising me game is lit bro i'm really liking overwatch on the switch and then minecraft 2 a teaser trailer for Minecraft. Just think. <coughs> Minecraft has been out all this time and we still haven't gotten a 2. Fortnite is sending the trend, bro. Fortnite finally does a chapter 2. Now we're getting Overwatch 2. Minecraft 2. 2020 is going to be the year of the 2s, bro. Minecraft 2. I'm going to become a Minecraft YouTuber. That's right. Forget playing every other game. Forget talking about Nintendo news. Hi. This is Obi One, your favorite Minecraft YouTuber. Make this bigger. Come on, nerd. Are you guys ready to play Minecraft with me? <laughs> All right, next item. Xenoblade Definitive Edition gets a release date coming June 2020. I still haven't beaten Xenoblade Chronicles 2, bro. So many games, bro. I'm about to beat Link's Awakening. Go on my youth, my gaming channel right after this video. Um, I'm going to be beating. I'm on the final boss in Link's Awakening. I'm going to beat it on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. Check it out. I think it's in the description of this video. All right. Next news item. A new Animal Crossing trailer. This is going to be their big game for the beginning of 2020. Animal Crossing is going to be a system seller, bro. It's a unique game. That's why I like Nintendo. They give us different gaming experiences. It's not hardcore shooting, hunting, destroy, fight the final boss. No. You're just digging shells, rolling snowballs. <laughs> so we get a new trailer for Animal Crossing. And then, bro, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Cyberpunk 2077 announced for the Switch Pro. Wow, that would be huge, bro. That would be major. Next, so we get Red Dead Redemption and Cyberpunk coming to the Switch. And then, Super Mario 3D World announced to be ported to the Switch coming May 22nd, bro. This is the most slept on Mario game ever. Because it came out on the Wii U, every first party game that's still in Wii U, <coughs> um, <coughs> um, no man's land, needs to be ported to the Switch, bro. More people need to experience these Wii U gems. Mario 3D World was so good. It has the single most hardest Mario level ever. 
the final stage in the special world. I think it's rain. Is it like a rainbow? I forgot what it's called, but bro, I beat it. If you beat that stage, you get my utmost respect, bro. But Mario 3D World was so good, man. Why Wii U? I used to rep that Wii U, bro. When nobody was repping Nintendo, we was repping that Wii U. All right. Next, and this is where a big question mark came up. <laughs> GTA 6 announced, and listen to this, a Nintendo Switch exclusive. No release date. And <laughs> that ain't happening, bro. <laughs> ain't no way in the world. Rockstar is going to spend years and years to develop this game and only have, if it, bro, one. I'm not saying it can't happen. Nintendo would have to shell out a lot. Nah, Nintendo is spending that much money, bro. That's going to be a lot of money. And you talking about a system seller? Bro, if this happens, it's over for Sony and Microsoft. Is GTA 6 is a Switch exclusive. Everybody will just buy a Switch. Everybody. Everybody. This is going to be the game of next gen, bro. GTA, the GTA games are infinite sellers. They never stop selling. And so if that's a Switch exclusive, it's a wrap, bro. Do I think that's going to happen? No. Um, <coughs> also, and they say the Direct ends with Super Mario Galaxy 3 announcement coming summer 2020. I'm here for that. Love Mario Galaxy 1. Love Mario Galaxy 2. I'm in it for 3. Mario Galaxy is probably the best no, Mario Odyssey. I like Mario Odyssey more. Nah, bro. Mario Galaxy is still my favorite 3D Mario game. I just had to think about that. The first Mario Galaxy. I like the first Mario Galaxy more than Mario Galaxy 2. But yeah, Mario Galaxy is better than um, Mario Odyssey, bro. Mario Odyssey is lit. But Galaxy is up there. And so that's how they ended the direct with Mario um, Galaxy 3. Straight, bro. What's up with Sunshine, bro? Where the Mario... Sunshine love. We want Flood, bro. Flood is lit, bro. All right. And so, that's the leak. Like I said, bro, if half of this stuff becomes true, this would be a crazy Nintendo Direct. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about this leak? Oh, before I, I um, close this video, one video a day, no 7 p.m. I try to do a video 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time each night. No video tonight. This is your video for the day. Enjoy it. Put it on repeat. Go share it with somebody. Tonight, what are we playing with the sponsors? Going to be on Super Smash Brothers. If you want to join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, become a sponsor. You could be a sponsor three ways. Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you could join the OGC for free through your Twitch Prime membership. Sub on Twitch. On YouTube. Join on YouTube or through Patreon. The links are in the description of this video. We're going to be having a Smash Prize tournament with the sponsors sometime next week. I game with the sponsors every week. You become on my you become on my Switch friend list. It's a dope gaming community. You get into our private gaming Discord. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Peace. Mario dabbing on them haters. That's right. We still dabbing in 2019.